Boy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Dr. Stone chapter 190. And my freaking god, we are in a massacre right now. And it's really freaking heartbreaking. It is. But I gotta tell you, the best part of last chapter was when Riasui called Zeno on his shit. He did. And let's be real, we've all been waiting for that. Because remember way back when uh, Zeno and Chrome were stuck in that tunnel. And Zeno said what was holding back scientific progress was, were politics, morals, ethics, religion, all holding back scientific progress. And Zeno is doing the same thing. He's becoming, slash, has really become the very thing that he hated so much, that he despised so much, and Rhea Sui called him out as shit. He did. Because, let's be real, Senku represents that scientific progress. And Senku wants to kill him because he, Senku don't want to do what he wants. Nah. So, yeah. Senna, your ass got called out and you look like a jackass. Meanwhile, you have Ryusu and you see this in, um, we see this in the first uh, panel here. You see Ryusu just standing proud with that smile on his face as he's get, getting shot and he's dying. And it just, the first thing that comes to mind is that saying that um, I'd rather die on my feet than uh, live on my knees. It just, ugh! first thing that comes to my mind. But anyway, let's keep going here. Ooh. No, no, Gen, you are surrendering. And yeah, that didn't go. Dude, Gen surrendering and you're fucking shooting the flag? Okay, the white flag. Wait a minute. Wait up a minute. Stanley, you said you were following, you know, the rules of engagement. And your enemy has waved a, a white flag of surrender, yet you're still shooting. What the fuck is- Dude, you are such a hypocrite! You are a hypocrite! You fucker! You are a hypocrite! Now, this- Oh, God. Now, this panel right here, this page of the fire. Oh... <gasps> Gorge, Butchie, Gorge! And this chapter is titled Science Transcends Life. And I, oh my god, I think I know where you're gonna go with this, Inagaki. I do, and I hope I'm right. Let's get to this chapter. Let's keep going with this chapter and see if I'm right. God, this art is gorgeous. Oh, 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 all the diamonds are burning up! In the end, I couldn't do a darn thing. All that brain racking, all that diamond fiddling, none of it mattered. The Medusa is only uh, Y man's to command, a shining star beyond our reach. I couldn't take a single step toward the future. Not a single step toward the future? I wouldn't be so sure about that. Sure, our power alone wasn't enough. A call? From who? <laughs> yes! I bet I know! Our ace watch technician over in Corn City, North America. Um, it's got to be Professor Joel. 0.3 meters, uh, 10 seconds. As a seasoned pro, whenever I complete a big job, I make a point of raising a glass to myself in victory. Nobody interferes with my little celebration. And here it is, brand new science beyond anything from the 21st century. Humanity now owns this for all eternity. Yes! Petrification took my accord! Yes, Joel came through him in the clutch. Yes, he did, and this is, this is like the holy grail. That's what Boichi going for here, and I love it. I love that we got like the holy grail going on up in there, and it's gorgeous. Uh, from this day forth, um, hold on. From this day forth, time is the only obstacle between me and more diamond batteries. A task uh, not impossible without my prodigy skills. Um, Kaseki, I have you to thank. Um, we 
we've split into two teams. That's the message I sent to the U.S. base just as a precaution. Split into two teams, huh? Something's fishy about that pointless message. Maybe it was some kind of choice. Could be, just in case. Don't let the Junior Science Brigade near the radio. Morse code uh, via your wristwatch? Yes, for listening in on uh, Brody and your people. Ultimately, I only ever trust my own handiwork. Wow, did you craft this by hand? It only receives signals like some sort of wiretap? That sneaky bitch! Just like uh, the earring I used back on the island. Uh, island to keep in touch with those guys. But what does uh, we've split into two teams mean? All along I've been using the radio to communicate with them about crafting uh, diamond batteries. Now I find myself at a dead end, so maybe this is a hint about how to uh, fine tune the diamonds. By chance, does your crew from Japan include a master craftsman? Kaseki! Such a clean break, it splits split into two! The diamond batteries have a central cleavage plane. That, um, a cleavage plane that splits apart very easily. You've done it, Kaseki! It'll mean, um... Sorry, uh, let me see, read this again. You've done it, Kaseki! Uh, that's all the insight I need! It'll mean backbreaking labor, but yes, I can replicate this! I'll stake my pride on it as a master of jewel, uh, jewel timepieces! Do you hear me, Kaseki? Here, shining brightly, is humanity's first ever man-made Medusa! A joint effort between myself and you people! Woo, here we go! I'm real glad to hear it wasn't all for nothing! All my efforts, all my life's work! This page is just so powerful. You have all this chaos going on. And then, like, a parting, it's like a parting of the sea kind of moment. Like a parting of the smoke. And then you have the stars right in the center. Like that shining hope. Oh, God, this is powerful as hell. It's a wondrous thing. I could drop dead today. Um, we all could, yet science finds a way to transcend our lives. It finds a way to build and build into the future. Oh, it's the god of the cocky suit you're doing! <gasps> no! Why, you tried it out in that glass to keep us from confiscating it, huh? Um, sorry, but no can do. This is one thing we can't let you possess. Can't have a nasty weapon like that unaccounted for. Oh, only regret I've got now is that I never got to congratulate Joel. Well, why don't you use the radio? It's not, not like it matters if Stanley overhears at this point. <laughs> True. Especially because dear Stanley and his gang now lack a radio of their own, I dare say. His boys are being awfully aggressive, don't you think? They've delivered no ultimatum via radio, and they ignored my white flag. It's almost as if their transceiver was destroyed, thereby shifting the hostage power balance in our favor. Besides, dear Kohaku, Sukasa, and Hyoga are hardly the types to lie down and die having accomplished anything. Right. <laughs> so bad. Right, which means uh, that maybe we've got sole control of the airways right now. Yes, in which case, yep, it's do or die. So, dude, I, this freaking bromance. This bromance, man. I swear. Boy, she, I need a freaking shirt that has, like, I don't, I want, I would want Ryasui on there. I would, but if you just give me a bromance shirt with uh, with uh, Senku and Gen on there, I would be so freaking happy. I don't want the anime designs on there. Nah, I I'm sorry, I don't like the anime designs of Gen and, and Senku. They look like crap. Nah, I want Boichi's art on there of Senku and Gen going like this, you know, like back to back. And put like the ultimate bromance or some shit like that. Just give me that and I will be so happy. I need that in my life. Um, a message in Japanese? Don't let those science brats hear it. Woo. It's in Japanese. More info about the crafting process? Can someone translate it into English for me? The signal may be cut out any second. Oh, God, Boichi. Boichi, I am so sorry that the anime fucked up your art like this. I am so sorry. Cause this is so beautiful. Mm, bye bye me, cause I was getting bored of playing nice. Fall boy suicide attack? This should have been our plan from the start. Dang, we're, we're totally doomed, huh? Uh, yes, yeah, yes, we may fall here today, but science continues into the future. It transcends our very lives. What exactly gives them such faith? What is it? Well, as for me, I still can't go without a toast to victory. 
um, alongside Kaseki, the master craftsman. Ooh, man. No more Mr. Nice Guy. But man, this is good. This is such good stuff. I really love what we have here. But man, if, they, if one of them is able to get that Medusa and turn them all into stone, that's all they need. That's all they need is that, it's just one person to get that and turn them all into stone. And then they could come back and, and then they can come back and free them. But wow, what a chapter. What a freaking chapter this is. Wow. I really really love how powerful the, this manga has gotten so powerful I mean like don't get me wrong Inagaki and Inagaki's writing has been powerful like, and yeah Boichi's art has been powerful to an extent but really as of late and I feel like it's got something to do with being in the I tell you we are in a manga renaissance god damn it we really are we have been in a manga renaissance for at least a year now we really have. And Inagaki's writing and Boichi's art has have just been so powerful. I really love how I really love what we're getting here. It's just so amazing. It really is. And again, don't get me wrong, we've had some good writing and good art, good writing from Inagaki and Boichi, um, and good art from Boichi before, but man, man, like, it's just over, again, over like the, over the past year, it's just like, step the fuck up. Oh my God. Oh my god, please keep doing this. What a uh, keep pushing yourself. Both of you keep pushing yourself like this. This is incredible art that we're getting here. I really love 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 what we're getting here so much. Oh god, because what it's really what we're really getting here is really showing uh, showing us as readers the power of, we're getting, really seeing the power of the human spirit, if you really think about it. Because as I said at the beginning, and especially with that stance that Ryusui had, it's continuing that theme of a freedom that you'd rather, you know, live on your feet than die on your, than die on your knees. Rather be free and die, to, and die free than live on as a slave. But seriously, fuck off, Stanley. You say you're uh, you are following the rules of engagement. Fuck off. You are not. You are no longer following the rules of engagement when you are shooting uh, someone that's waving a white flag. Fuck off. Seriously, fuck off. You're you're now heading into mercenary territory, you piece of shit. God, I hope someone calls Stanley out on his shit. And also, we need uh, oh. You know who's gonna call Zeno out on his shit? Like, full of. Because Ryusui somewhat called Zeno out on his shit. He did. You know who's gonna call Zeno. Really call Zeno out on his shit? One, it, Chrome better do it. Chrome needs to call Zeno out on his shit. He does. But, man. Sen, uh, God, I really want Senku to do it. Senku, please, for the love of God, call Zeno out on his shit. Both you and Chrome, especially need to call Zeno out on his bullshit. Chrome, because, you know, he was in um, that tunnel with Zeno. God, I want him to call fucking Zeno out his shit. And I also, and Senku also, you know, for obvious reasons. God, I would love to see Gen call, um, oh my god, if Gen calls Stanley out on his shit too, I would live. 
Please call, uh, someone needs to call Stanley on his shit as well. My God. God. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Dr. Stone content. There's a few ways you could do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.